Hey everybody, Dan here with No Games for Old Men. Welcome back to Days Gone. Purple St. John. Sarge, you avoiding those wooden nickels? Oh, we got nothing. No. It was all human enemies last time. Corporal St. John, you take care now. So we have returned to Wizard Island with Sarah and whatever that piece of uh, lab equipment was. Uh, but I think we're in trouble because we're being asked to report to command. There's been an incident at the infirmary. Go. Apparently. Oh! What the heck? Hey, what's going on? Captain? What happened here? Dr. Jimenez has been murdered. <gasps> what? The son of a bitch. Jesus Christ. Slit his throat from here to Where's here. Where's Taylor? Did, did Taylor see anything? All the narcotics in the camp are gone. Did Taylor do it? Taylor. No. This one's on me. I assigned him to the infirmary. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying Taylor was a junkie. You knew? Uh-oh. It doesn't matter. Anymore. Oh, Taylor, what the hell, man? Holy crap. Dude, uh... Man, Jimenez was a good guy, too. Damn. All right, well, we can see that the uh, colonel's got has an address to give, probably about Jimenez, so let's do that. And they might hang that guy that we caught a couple episodes ago, too. This day, as the sun sets on this island, it also sets on the life of a great man. Captain Arturo Jimenez. Doc, to many of you, is gone. Taken from us on the eve of our great victory. Captain Jimenez was murdered. Slaughtered. His life ripped from him. His blood, even now, soaks the tent where he toiled, hour after hour, tending our sick, our injured, our wounded. The great tragedy here is not that a good man needlessly lost his life, though for that I am indeed very sorry. The great tragedy here is that he could not be replaced. Dr. Jimenez was the only trained physician in our ranks, perhaps in all the world. <laughs> My eyes have been opened. I see now the great mistake we have made. We have filled our ark with books and seeds and discs. Medical journals, medical books and encyclopedia we have in spades. His movements aren't matching his but speech. When this terrible war is over, will teach us how to use them. Journals can be replaced. Books and encyclopedia can be replaced. Dr. Jimenez, our only doctor, cannot be replaced. <laughs> this is Shakespearean, what he's doing right now. I suggest you do the same. Company dismissed. <laughs> what was this performative dance he was doing? <laughs> boy, oh boy. All right. I think Colonel Garrett was a community theater star back in the day. That's why he's playing the role of a colonel so well. I really don't think he is legitimately uh, <laughs> a commissioned officer of anything. All right, let's get some skill points. Three. I think I forgot to spend one an episode or two ago, so we've got some bonus skills we can use. All right, we are almost maxed out. Okay, uh, outline enemies in survival vision. Increase the range of survival vision. It's not quite the one I thought it was. I was, think I was thinking an episode or two ago that I should grab the one that 
that makes stuff stay on screen longer. Ah, that came out awkwardly, but you know what I mean. Yeah, and of the ones that are available here, that's none of those are what I thought they were. So let's jump over to Melee and see if we can... Uh, jeez, we wow, we haven't even unlocked two of these tiers. All right, ability to roll quickly from a to recover from a knockdown. The reckoning gives melee weapons a chance for critical takedown on human swarmers and newts. Longer combo. I can't believe I haven't claimed so many of these. All right, so let's let's start. Let's start opening up melee. I've been using ballistic weapons so much more though, so that's it makes sense. All right, roll with it. Drastically reduces the cost. Oh, stamina cost from rolling. Okay. Stun weaker enemies by hitting them with a rock. Significantly increases damage of both crafted and found melee weapons. Yes. Ooh, no stopping me. Unlock 30 skills. Achievement unlocked. All right, you deal more damage with melee weapons, excluding the boot knife. Oh, that's too bad. When paired with hard hitter, your damage is exceptional. Do I have hard hitter? Which one is hard hitter? There it is. Okay, so we've got them both now. Great. And then, let's see if we've got a ranged one we can get. We almost have all of the ranged skills, too. Alright, improves focus cocktail, ability to reload while sprinting. And vicious cycle, ability to follow up a melee attack with a ranged attack for massive damage. This is a tier 1 skill. I wonder how... I'm going to grab it. Because I wonder, <laughs> it would be funny if this is just an incredibly powerful attack. I mean, it sounds like it is. And I could have been making things so much easier for myself. But here I am so deep into the game and just now claiming this tier 1 skill. All right, press right trigger to perform a melee attack. Hold left trigger and tap right trigger to perform a ranged attack. So I wonder if you hit with the melee and then as the enemy is staggering back pull out the pistol and shoot like John Wick style we'll have to try that out of course we've got a little stubby right now so that's going to be even better okay now we visited all of the vendors last episode so we don't need to do that uh, the community college is open now so I could go that way um, and that will solve both of these. So I'm thinking we do that. Plus we'll get, because this is a Nero checkpoint, we'll get a booster. Uh, is there a fast travel point? Ooh, you know what? It's right here. Although this is open now, I could come this way, take care of this stuff and that, then come to Boozer. Or do it the other way around. Let's do it the other way around. Let's talk to Boozer first. Check in on him. Make sure he's doing okay. Of course, as soon as we leave camp, we're going to get four radio calls of people wanting me to do stuff for them. Oops. Captain Curry. This is Curry. Hey, uh, I'm gonna go after Taylor. Several patrols have already been sent out. Colonel's furious. Yeah, I'll bet. I thought it was a good guy. Captain, he 
Jimenez was the only doctor we had. Look, Taylor mentioned something about heading up to the ski lodge. I'm gonna go there and see if I can find him. Radio me if you do. The Colonel. The Colonel wants Taylor alive. Yeah, he's gonna make a, an example out of him, I'm sure. Wow. Okay. Hey John, come in. This is Captain Curry. We've got we, a job for you. We just talked. Captain Told you. Curry, um, at the Diamond Lake outpost, I assume. Copy that. Why can't you tell me over the radio? We just spoke. All right, like in the Chicago Chopper. So this. That is. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Copeland. Before the shit went down. I haven't heard from him in a you while. You talked about global conspiracy. Most would have laughed you out of the room. No one's laughing now. <laughs> we know this went worldwide. We saw it in India, South America. What we didn't know is that the Trilateral Commission had a hand in it. You know about those guys? An NGO that wants North America, Western Europe, and Japan to, quote, foster cooperation, unquote. <laughs> yeah, they fostered something. You know they picked the places that got here first. But someone... a walk here either. They've been giving terrorist nations a seat at the table for years. Could be the UN. Oh! What the French? I did not see any of that happen. Oh boy. Alright. Guess what? Guess what? Alright, we don't need the suppressor. I mean, you're coming after me. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, jeez. Alright, let's try this, um... Boom. Well... That solved that. Okay, where's the sniper? St. John! Corporal St. John! Come in! I need you to report to me ASAP! Hey, Colonel! Uh, yes, sir! St. John out! Uh, I'm a little occupado, Colonel. It's already popped. That's popped. Hmm. Bummer. Yes. I mean, none of these, none of these people have a sniper rifle. So where did that come from? There's nobody in the trees. There's no. Danger indicated on the radar. And you guys trashed my oh, bike. Unbelievable. Fortunately, I have enough scrap for it. Yeah, that'll hold. And I wonder if that interrupt, because that interrupted the uh, Radio Free Oregon. Ooh, there's only one more. Radio Copeland's Radio Free Oregon broadcast uh, property rights. Earth is ours. Huh. Earth is a gift for us all. Yep, not that one. Wild West again. Men acting like law and order. Yeah, it's not that one either. Huh. Yeah, well, alright. Maybe it'll trigger again. I need more scrap, though. Are you ready to do some streaming? What? Where is she? Oh, 
There's one. I see her on the other side of the... Well, she's walking away. Oh! There's a runner there, too. And really... Ooh, is it going after the screamer? What am I hearing? Oh, stop. Alright, let's grab the ear. And then we'll come up here and hide in this bush. Oh! Yeah, go, go eat that, runner. Get her. What is over here? Is that an MMU that... Do I already have that? Oh yeah, I've already, I've already got that one. Huh. Looks like there's a wolf or something, maybe a cougar over there by that bush. So let's grab the screamer ear first. And then we'll come over here and harvest this animal. Okay, it's a cougar. Nice, we got five. And now we'll just return to the bike, I guess. I don't know what I was supposed to be investigating over there. I didn't see any clues or anything. This fog's pretty cool. A little nerve-wracking how it reduces visibility so much. Alright, let's go ahead and fill up the gas tank while we have the opportunity. Okay. Can I open the back of these things? No. Ooh, I'm hearing a horde. <gasps> oh, yeah, we're hearing a horde. Holy smoke. Um, they're coming this way, too. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and boost. <laughs> Put some distance between us. What is this little fort? Oh, what? <laughs> wow. That was neat. Oh my gosh. I've already been through here. I've already grabbed that. Wow. Was neat. All right, are there any human enemies around? Well, this is one of the bunkers I've already cleared out, so I think those stay cleared. Go up the ladder. Am I on the wrong side? Yes.
Wow, it's a long climb. I hope this is high enough. Boozer, it's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp, is anyone there? Deke? Deke, is that you? I can barely hear you. You're, you're cutting out. Where the hell are you? Crater Lake, uh, believe it or not. Hey, uh, I, I... It's good to hear from you again, brother. I thought maybe, uh, thought maybe you were heading back. Uh, no, Boozer, not yet. It's, uh, it, it's complicated. Look, uh, I'm just... I'm just sort of checking in. To see how, you know, how everything's going. Good. Good, Deke. Things are going good. You'll never guess who the old man put in charge of security. Wait, you? Yeah, you got it. Guess he figured, you know, with only one arm, I can only cause half as much trouble. <laughs> okay, yeah, like I said, I just, I just wanted to check in. Yeah, it was good to hear from you, brother. Yeah, you too. Okay, bye, then. That was... bizarre. How brief and awkward that conversation is. I don't want to hang. Ride to the ski lodge. Oh. Wade. Alright, where is that? Return to Diamond Lake. Yeah, we're going to have to bring Wade back anyway, I'm sure, so... Darn. You know what? I want to... Where... Okay, where is this? It's way over there. I want to get rid of all this stuff first. We're going to do these. Be nice if there was a way to expedite that. Time to ride out, close the book on some of these things. Ooh. Except there's this. What happened here? Oh, wow! This thing took out a cougar in three hits. I like this weapon. Five cougar meat. That will be very useful. bear. You know what? I'm actually kind of curious. How many shut? Nah, let's not mess with it. <laughs> we're on a, we're on a self-imposed task here. We need to we need to do that. I would like to know how long it would take. 
to take out a Rager with the Chicago Sweeper, but Chopper, Chicago Chopper. All right, I need to get in. To here. Oh, there we go. Now this is all available. Oh my god! There's also that. Oh no. Oh no! Oh sh. All right. Oh, there is no suppressor for little stubby, so we're gonna have to use this. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Man, I could get a lot of them if I shot that explosive, but I'm not... I don't think I'm ready. Oh, boy. What about attractor bombs? I mean, there's so many of them. You just, you just chuck one. Uh oh. And if, let's see if it works when they know I'm here. Oh no, it doesn't. Oh, yeah, some of them do. Holy crap. Uh, okay, well, uh, Chicago Chopper, let's see what you can do. Rats. I totally missed the... Uh... All right, let's go with a stamina cocktail. Let's grab a <laughs> Molotov. And let's grab a pipe bomb and we'll toss it there. That'll get some of them. Um, let's see, how about another attractor bomb to get some of the ones that are hiding out in the back. Man, that just doesn't seem to get a whole lot of them, though, does it? Bandage. Alright, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to make use of Ooh, we need another stamina cocktail, apparently. Run. What was that? Like 900 and... What's the Nick doing here? Okay. We can make use of... Whoa. Health... Cocktail? What's that? Oh my god, that roll. Oof. Oops. Alright. Oh, there's an interesting tactic. Well, they're all on the other side of the wall there. Been a pipe bomb. 
Oh, oh no! Stamina depleted. Let's do stamina cocktail. Use craft. 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 Oh my gosh! Oh man! Run! Sprint, you fool! Did I get one? Defeat your first horde! Woo! Oh my gosh! That was crazy! Hordes are the most deadly enemy we have. Someday when I'm ready, I'm gonna burn them all to the ground. 3%. Oh my gosh. Dang. Well, we've got a couple stragglers here. See, well, oof, close. Oh, oh, my gosh. All right, let's sneak up on this guy here. Seems to be eating one of his compadres. Wow. All right. Before we do anything else, we need to run around and collect all of these ears because there are a ton of freaker ears laying around. And you just auto collect. Look at that. Nine. Wow. And, oop, here's half a Nero guy. All right, let's also see if we can craft as much of this stuff that we used. Uh, let's see, one health cocktail. We're all good on bandages. Tractor bombs. Those were pretty useful, I think. I think we've probably got quite a few. Freakers each time. Okay, we've also got that investigation that's there, but I think that's probably just related to the checkpoint. Right, there's a bunch of dudes back there, too. Yeah, look at this. Look at this pile of corpses here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, looks like. No, not this way. Alright, we'll grab the rest later. Um, looks like we need a fuse. Alright, where? Oh, where the hell am I gonna get a fuse? <laughs> Definitely need an ammo crate. Okay. Not a fuse, but I can use that for attractor mines. This is it. Think. What's it? 
Alright, here's a gas can. At least I can fill up the generator once I find it. The controller's vibrating as though there's a fuse nearby. The gas can. Oh, there we go. Which way? Oh, that's empty. Gotcha. So got some freakers around, huh? I can hear them. All right, first thing I want to do though is get this MNU running. Oh, hello. Bandages all over the place here, so let's use a bandage. And we can just pick up the next one we find. And I seem to have lost track of that gas can. Darn it. Uh, let's repair this for sure. Where'd it go? Doggone it. I was like right here. Oh, there it is. One of us must have booted it. Oh, there's a nest. Well. Guess what? Kill him? Bummer. Oh! I tried to roll past. That did not work at all. Ooh, there's a breaker over there. That's not good. Oh, I see more I see more poops. Gotta be right around here. Oh, that's a pipe. Oh, oh. Why does that keep happening? Why do I keep selecting... Uh, Molotov. And it keeps throwing a pipe bomb. The, here's the breaker. Hey, you want to help me out with these uh, freakers? Here, I'll bring them to you. There we go. Yeah, have fun. While I come over here and grab the residue. Buddy, you, you're you supposed to be... What? Oh, no! Is he dead? Oh, he is. I wanted to use save that for the... Oh, well. For the breaker. Okay, here's our nest residue. Oh. Bonk.
Oh, I can't make... That's right. Can't make... Oh, I hear you. I hear the breaker. Snuffling. Where'd he go? I hear him. He's somewhere. There he is. Hey, I'm bringing food to you. There you go. Oh, that was ill timed. Okay, the Chicago Chopper is kind of rad, you guys. Alright, what do we have in here? Something collectible. Ooh, another IPCA tech. And a rag. Okay, let's grab the residue from over here. We need to follow the power lines. I've completely lost track of that <sighs> gas can, but there was another one in a tent close by, so we'll just keep an eye out for that. All right, power line, power line. <sighs> just gonna follow this around, eliminate any speakers that we see, like that one, which I already took care of. There's not one there. There is one here. No, I don't want the silencer for this. Knife this one. No need to waste ammo. Boy, it's so quiet here now. Kind of nice. <laughs> Alright, that ends that line. And it continues this way. It goes there to there. Nothing there. There are two on that. MMU here. Is that a crier? Or just... Ugh. It didn't show up red on the radar, so I don't know if that was an uninfected bird. Because when I go to the kitchen, there's one meat type that I haven't discovered yet, So I'm, and it was a bird, so I'm wondering if there's got to be a... That's got to be it. Because that had like a white head or white wingtips or something, and I haven't noticed that on the criers. <laughs> All right, well, here's where it all started when I came up on top of this to try to start cutting these speakers. And then we aggroed that horde. Can't I still can't believe we managed to, to take it out. 
That was a pretty big one, too. That was a pretty big one. Now that we know that we can get it. That might embolden us to uh, take on some others. Especially some of the smaller ones. They'll probably be quite simple by comparison. Although I completely just jinxed myself by saying that. See, some would say that that's positive thinking. Others... Oh, here's the can. A gas can. Others would say that that's inviting... Oh, look at this. Really? Okay, we'll follow this. To here. Nothing. That goes to there. Where the heck is the generator? That goes to there, and that's a terminus. Oh no. It's raining! Freakers like the rain. Okay, we've got those. Usually the generator has like a bank of lights on it. But I'm not seeing that. Probably walked past it five times. And usually it's sort of toward the middle. That might not be true at all. Alright, how many other nests do we have too? Ah, uh, we've got one here. Alright, let's see what this is. Is this just a crier, or was this... No, this one I can actually harvest, or have to harvest. So that wasn't a crier. Crow meat. Okay. Well, there we go. The lat... Oh, jeez, I lost the gas can. Oh, there it is. Oh. So now we know what all the meat types are. Alright, there's an American flag. Maybe that is attached to... Nope. <sighs> okay. I feel like I have followed every power cable. And I'm not finding the generator. That one ends on that fallen light pole. Wait. Wait. Nope. That's not it either. Hmm. Here it is. Doggone it. Should be it. All right. Now we need the fuse. We know that, so we're not even gonna try to. What are you doing? Hold A to drop. There you go. I don't don't think don't think we found the fuse yet. So we're gonna have to keep looking around. Oh, there's another pile of freak corpses. Yeah, those attractor bombs did did good work for us. Look at this. Oh. That, we're gonna need those big jugs there, those growlers, to make the napalm bombs, but we can't can't do that just yet. The napalm molotovs. Here we go. This one has to have... Yep. There's our fuse. Feels, yes. Thank goodness. Oop. Bandage. I knew it. I knew I'd find one. Good stuff. Uh. You uh you caught in some high winds there, bud?
Oh, did it land on the... Of course. <laughs> of course it did. Oh, drat. Can I look up and grab it? Pull it down? Nope. Okay. Alright, where the heck was the... What do I need the fuse for? Okay, it doesn't go in this. It goes in one of the... Uh, which one was it? Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. No. There it is. Yeah, now we're in business. I'll let you do it. Okay, now... Power up the Jenny. Oh, yes. And I don't hear any broadcasts, so I think I got all the speakers, too. Sweet. All right, let's claim our loot. Yes, finally. There right. she is. Yes, narrow injector. All right, I'm going to go stamina on this one because I think I'm pretty close to being capped on that. So if we could just cap it. Better living through chemistry. 92%. So we're almost done with all of the Nero checkpoints. All right, let's check the other. This one doesn't have... A recorder or a document. So let's check the others. And I heard a growl. Uh, micro recorder. Huh? No, leave all that shit. We don't have room for it. I didn't see the order. What's going on? Why are we bugging out? I, I saw the satellite footage. Uh, they're coming. Up 97, the I-5. They're gonna reach our position in less than two hours. You mean infected? No, tourists, idiots. <laughs> yes, infected. Mobs of them. Millions of tourists. Them. What about the camp? The refugees? Uh, Look out there. How many helos do you see? I don't know, a half a dozen. And how many refugees? A few thousand. More, maybe. A lot more. Yep. Yeah, you get it. Math All that. Right, we're leaving quietly. You keep your damn mouth shut. You got it? We're not even gonna warn them. Yes, sir. Wow. Oh, the government's finest. Nice job, assholes. All right, so there's another breaker and a freaker who's about to uh, <laughs> suicide by breaker there. All right, we're pretty close. Oops, I wanted the map. We're pretty close to this, and that's the last one of these, so I'm thinking we just run over here real quick. Ooh, we got, got our trust up to level two. It was to the south of me, so we're going to run this way on this side of the camp so we don't excite the, the breaker. Oh. I meant to... I meant to do the charge bull rush thing. Oh, well. Hopefully there's some scrap in here, because I'm going to need to re keep repairing this weapon. Oh, no. Oh, come on. I did not see the red light. Oh, there's the nest. All right. I smell it. <sighs> Got to be getting close. There's another nest. Let's burn it up. I hear you. 
Yeah, he's over there. All right, let's let's burn this out quick, so we can grab the residue. There you go. Well, I, he's he certainly sounds a lot closer than he looks. Hopefully, there's not two of them. I mean, he sounds like he's right next to me, but there's nothing on the there's no red danger on the scope. Radar. I keep calling it a scope. It's not a scope. And we need to destroy these two nests, and that will complete all of the infestations that are down here. Do we do that real quick? Or do we take out this breaker? What? More? Okay, here. There he is. Let's drag the... the freakers to him. Oh boy! <laughs> Thought maybe I would sneak up on him, but clearly not. Alright, yeah, you come this way. And then we're gonna do this. No, you were supposed to go the other way, bud. Can you get up here? Oh, yeah, you sure can. Look at you parkouring like a champ. Yeah. Nice! Wow. And we got the ear. Wow, we are almost out of ammo for this weapon, though. Ooh, that's dangerous. And there wasn't any, there weren't any ammo crates inside these MMUs, were there? Did I go in this one? Yeah, this is the one that had the, the gun locker, but not an ammo crate. Yeah, there's no ammo in here. Oh boy. Alright, we're gonna have to make a, a return to town, I think. Town? I mean, it's I guess it's a town. Anyhow, we'll do that next episode, though, uh, after we burn out this crier nest here so we can complete that job. But And then we'll head back here, and... Oh, we gotta go find Wade. Oh, doggone it, Wade. Alright, too much to do still. Hope you come back for it. Hope you're having a great day. Thanks for watching. Oh, yeah.